Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks related to the folder settings. Folder settings or folder options are the tools by which the default view of the folders can be changed or modified by the users. For a lot of work on personal computers, we need to create and manage the folders. Folders are sometimes called directories. Plenty of computer work is being done within a folder. Here we will learn some tips and tricks related to the folder settings. The keyboard shortcuts are always liked by computer professionals. The more you learn to use keyboard shortcuts the more comfortable your work experience will be with the PCs. Here is a list of few very common Windows shortcuts related to folders. To create a new folder, hit Ctrl plus Shift plus N. Now the folder is created with the name of new folder and it is highlighted for modification. Just hit enter to accept and retain the name folder. You can rename it by typing your own and hit enter to confirm it. To rename existing folder, select the folder or item you want to modify, then hit F2 key or function plus F2 key, now it is ready for modification. Type the name you want then hit enter. To see the properties of the selected folder or item, hit ALT plus ENTER. To close the opened item, hit ALT plus F4. This is also applicable to any open windows. To minimize the opened folder or window, hit Windows logo plus down arrow. To restore the minimized folder or window, hit Windows logo plus up arrow. To minimize the open folder or window, hit Windows logo plus M. To display menus of the selected item, Shift plus F10. You can use Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus X and Ctrl plus V to copy, cut, and paste the selected folder. Let's say I will copy folder 3 to my folder, and cut folder 2 and paste to my folder. System reserved word are words used while programming the OS itself since the times of MS-DOS. Examples are, CON, PRN, Auxiliary, Null, LPT1, LPT2, COM1, COM2 and many more. Using these reserved words as a file or folder name is not permitted by the system. Let's try to use one name. Upon pressing enter, the system display error message the specified device name is invalid. So from here, we have to rename it using different name except the system reserved words. To create a folder with the previous mentioned system reserved words we need to play around a bit instead of directly putting these words. To do this, create a new folder, then type any of the reserved word name, then press Alt plus 255 on the number locked and press enter. Note. Alt plus 255 insert a null character besides the word con. These is the same with Alt plus 0160. You can hide a folder within a few seconds. Hiding a folder requires two steps. First, hiding its name box, and second is hiding its icon. Create a new folder or select a folder you want to hide. Then type ALT plus 0160 from number pad. Then hit enter to modify the name. You will find that the name box of the folder is disappeared. Now you are left with the folder's icon only. Right click the folder's icon to view its properties or press ALT plus enter. Go to the customize tab and click on the change icon button at the bottom of the window. You will find lots of icons to select from. Reach to these three hidden icons and select one of them. Click OK, then OK again. Now the folder name and its icon disappear. Lots of options are available for folder settings under the tab folder and search options. Open the Windows Explorer by clicking on its icon or use the keyboard shortcut window logo key plus E. Go to the top of this window, then click on the View tab, then Options, then click on Change Folder and Share Options. 
the folder options window will open. A lot of cool customization can be performed here. You can play around using different settings, I'll show you some of it. If you don't want to show your recently used files and frequently used folders in quick access, then follow these steps. Under the general tab, below the privacy, uncheck the desired checkbox. You can clear the previous history of the files and folders in quick access by clicking the clear button. Let me uncheck this one. See the recently used open files disappear. If I'll uncheck this too, it will do the same here. Out of the 8 folder layout options, extra large icons, list, tiles, content, details, etc. If you like any of them and want to apply it on all the folders then follow these steps. Select the desired layout then open the folder options, then click view tab, under folder views, click on apply to folders. If you have any hidden folder and you want to see it, or you want to hide a folder follow these steps. For our example, let's create one hidden file first. Next, let's go to folder options, then click view tab, under advanced settings, below the hidden files and folders, then click on the radio button, don't show slash show. Wait, we have hidden the folder with two steps a while ago and afterward used the hidden option because anyone can see the hidden folder by following the show hide files and folder option that's why two step method was used. You can see and hide the extension of the files by choosing the option hide extension for known file types under advanced settings. Use the search tab for elevated search options. You can get back the default options anytime by clicking restore defaults on each tab. You need not worry, hit some clicks and explore more. Some really awesome options are available with taskbar settings. Right click on the taskbar, then go to toolbars, then new toolbar, then the windows explorer window will open, then select the folder you want to access from taskbar. It will appear on the taskbar. To access it, right click on the folder name on taskbar, then click open folder or click the double small arrows on the taskbar to expand the folder. To remove it from the taskbar, go to toolbar and uncheck the name of the folder. This covers working with folder settings in Windows 10. If you have a question to ask, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.